Hello everybody, guess how long it would take to recover an entire fucking bee area slash forest and fucking glass. Five hours of setting that up, then look, look how fucking big it is. And it all had to have glass, it, it's in a different chunk over here. All had to have glass. I had to build the little office place on top. It took a long time. <laughs> now, we had to have somewhere to do all the bee work. I was gonna have it underneath or just at the side, and then I thought, nah, we'll have it on top. And I finally got teleporters to work. Ta da! And this is all, um, these, this red and green block and all the other color ones that I might use eventually. Or from the Zycraft thing, those little coloured gems we find that I was smelting down. You can turn them into blocks, and they do that. And that's just solar panels. Going into a MFSU, which is linked to the teleporter, which is linked to the other teleporter, which just receives a redstone button. Don't ever use um, pressure plates. I made that mistake. It ended badly. Anyway. If we do, 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 go back, no, I, I could just drop down. What am I about? Ah, how do you get back up if you can't jump? Levitation. Full of everything. I'm a fucking genius. Minecraft Pro. Not daytime. You have more than problems than just daytime, mate. I have some problems with some of them where they get pissy about not having the right type of flowers and stuff like that. I haven't got any that come out at night yet, I don't think. Which is quite annoying, I wanted to see them out and about. I think that's, oh, that does have stuff in it. A marbled queen, who would have thought she would have come out? Nope, I would have thought she would have come out at night, but maybe not. The Valiant drones appear to be doing something wrong. I don't think he's meant to be in there. You can come with me. Because we've got a queen. Fucking... It's raining? It's not raining in here. But anyway, yeah. That's where it comes up with errors for what's wrong with them at the moment. Um, obviously that's what they like. That's just stuff about information, and that's whose own it is, which is mine. The fucking Enderman walking around down here as well now. Just everybody's just helping themselves. Give me that drone, thank you. I'm gonna take the honey as well while we're at it, actually. I like honey. Fucking claw, seriously. You have issues. Cocoa comb? Apparently these ones can make chocolate. I'm not sure how, but I guess that's what cocoa means. If they can, that would be fucking awesome. And we will breed that one with everything. No queen in there. Do, 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 do. I've also started making process of cutting down some of the trees around the outside and putting the um, apiaries out there because the queens get pissy if they're not in sunlight. Okay, let's head back up. Diddle-doom. Diddle-doom. Oh, bugger it. <laughs> oh, I can't jump in properly. What do you want? Oh my god, he is one fucking weird looking enderman. Where is he? Now he's buggered off. Uh, anyway, I uh, went for another bee hunt, found some more. And we will chuck these in with them. Valiant. Are there any Valiant ones in here yet? Marbled. No, oh, they're rocky. I haven't got any marbled ones in here either. And in here, we yeah, have some of the Formian grafters we made last time for if we see any of the mutated trees. 
some apiary stuff because obviously some of them were causing us damage some more scoops a bee Eliza this is what I want and I also want this so I know if it goes to daylight and I don't notice it that bloody uh, the I think it's the rocky ones there we go don't we look awesome <laughs> get really pissy with us um, anyway let's open this and wait a minute go back in here just chuck the combs in there and we'll grab the valiant drone I like him scan him can't remember how mm. one general environmental behaviour normal Honey or honeydew as pacifier. How do I get honey? It's all stuff that's miles beyond me. Do I just do this? Okay, I'm gonna go find out how to use the bee analyzer, and I'll be right back. And we're back in. As you can see, I've worked out of there. I had to get a centrifuge, power it. I had to run back to base and make all of that sort of stuff. Um, <coughs> and you see, I've got myself some beeswax and some honey. Put that in there, thank you. Let's grab you, put the honey in. Now, where are my bees? Oh, I think he's gone into the apiary bag. Come here. Hmm. I've never actually looked at the apiary bag. Come here. I just made it because it looked cool. Let's go here and chuck you in. There we go. Active. Inactive. <laughs> this is basically the stuff we need to know about the bees. Hmm. Possible mutations. They don't really tell me. Possible produce, the cocoa one and the other one. Active, climate normal, temp normal, 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 nocturnal, yes. Inactive, no, no, cave, yes. So at the moment he's kind of. He's pretty good. Ice brand short, speed slow, pollen slow pretty slow, that's not exactly what I want, but oh well. Will that now come up on here? Oh yeah. So they work at night, but none of them walk, work in the rain, so doesn't really help me out much there. Let's take some of this and chuck that in there, in the centrifuge, see what we can get. Obviously that's silk, I'd expect a chance of getting silk out. Silk, silky propolis. Mossy comb, what are we gonna get? Honey and beeswax. Obviously there's only a chance of it giving off the special thing. Nope, just honey on that one. Honey and beeswax again. Come on, give us some cocoa. You nearly want to. Nope. Just beeswax. Bastards. All that effort. And we're going to put the special stuff we get out in there. So let's grab some bees and start putting them into these. Ta da! Ow. But I didn't have my stuff on. I want to keep the boots on. Oh, they're in my inventory. <laughs> Got to stop hitting myself on things. Got to eat some food as well. Shit. There we go. So, what we're going to put in this one? Where did my Valiant go? Oh, he's in there. Come out of there. 
Now I'm going to want to analyze these other ones. Marble, normal, normal, slow, short, slow, short, normal, damp, lily pad. Now oh, we need some more honey. Heading back up. Do -do -do -do. Uh, sod it. Um, one second, I'm going to set up an easier way of getting up and down because I want to be using the bee suit in here. It just seems more realistic. There we go, it's sorted. It's now working via the teleporter. So, to get down, I just have to drop down. So, if somebody without boots wants to drop down, they're just going to suffer the damage. <laughs> I don't care that much. Uh, we need the honey drops. Thank you. Open the analyzer. Okay, let's analyze the meadow drones. Slowest worker, short lives, and they like flowers. What about the princess? Slow, short, flowers. Marsh. Slow, short, normal, damp, mushroom. These things are bloody picky. Okay, what we're going to put in here then? I like the idea of the nocturnal trait getting passed on. And let's see what the forest one has to offer. Well, it didn't carry on the valiant trait anyway. Just going to have to hope it came out good. Well, that one's about to pass on and give us some new stuff. Nothing in there. Probably because I haven't moved it out. Oh, hello. Meadow, Meadow, Valiant Princess. Awesome. And another Kokoa comb. So what we want. Uh, if I put it in with the rocky one, it's got a chance of it being more nocturnal. Valiant Queen. Because obviously they live in caves, they're going to have nocturnal. It's always dark down there. I'm wearing my suit! Okay, maybe I've got to wearing all the suit. Let's try that again. Yeah, got to be wearing the entire thing. Whoops. Uh, let's breed you with the... They like lily pads being there. Let's try the forest drone. This tropical one seems to be quite picky. Oh wait, it's a queen. I can't breed it with anything. What am I on about? Okay then, let's swap it out for something else. Let's go for a meadow princess and a marble drone. So that's going to do its thing. What have we got in here? The marshy one. Let's take you out if you're going to be picky about flowers. Let's put in a rocky princess with a forest drone. Uh, what have we got in here? Nothing. Okay, we're quite near water, but it doesn't have any lily pads in it. Is this one? Nope. So we're going to have to get lily pads for these ones. Uh, let's put a marshy drone. That's the marshy queen. You are so picky. Let's move you into the sun. How about there? Nothing wrong with being there. Yay, she's sending out her stuff. God damn it, that was annoying. Okay, what's going on here? There is flowers nearby though. 
Maybe you want these ones. Excuse me. Not enough. Um, these ones. I'll just put every flower I can bloody find near her. Until she stops being so goddamn picky. Got a lot more flowers when there's bees around though. It's quite nice. Like all the different kinds of flowers. Okay, you've got every type of flower I know of. Um yep. Yeah. Definitely just a picky little bugger. Let's put a whatever princess we got, Marshy, with a meadow drone. Meadow drones seem to be alright with normal flowers. That's why I'm trying to go with those. We're well, just being a bitch. There we go. No, you're not whinging. I knew putting every sort of flower there was a good idea. Oh, what have we got here? Nothing going on. Anything going on here? Okay, we're going to have to put the watery one and hope she enjoys flowers. <laughs> Otherwise I'm going to have to go lily pad hunting. waiting for that little sign to pop up. Not at the moment though. She seems okay with it. You guys okay? Yep. They haven't got a very short lifespan so they'll be dead again soon. Yep, you're fine. Oh, hello. Marble drone, marble princess. Let's put you in there and breed you with a Hmm. Let's breed you with the Meadows drone. Take that, thank you. Some more honey. If we get some more honey, we can analyze some of the ones we've got. Nope. Okay, I think I'm going to head back to the base and then I. I'm pretty sure I've gone over the amount of time I usually set for these anyway. <laughs> um, thank you very much for watching guys, like, favorite, share if you enjoyed, um, leave a comment if there's anything else you want me to build or do or any other mod that is part of the Feed the Beast Ultimate pack that you want me to check out. Um, or if you just got anything else to say, go for it. Remember to subscribe, really helps me out and that way I can get my videos out to you guys. Thank you very much and goodbye.